Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and another episode of Don't Be Telling My Business. Why are you telling my business? Well, because I can can and I can can, I can can, I can can and I will. Okay? This video is strictly about Portia. Please don't marry that man and definitely don't waste your funds because I'm sure you're going to be paying for some of your wedding, if not all, just to save face on Bravo. Just tell Bravo, kick rocks and that you're not going to get married or you'll be one of those runaway brides. You remember, I think it was Julia Roberts, she would always get engaged. I forget the name of the, well I think that was the name of the picture, the movie, Runaway Bride. Where she would go and get engaged with these different suitors and whatnot. And when it's time for her to get married, she don't show up. Or she'd be in a vicinity somewhere showing up. But then she just di just dismissed the ceremony altogether. Okay. And that's what I really feel is going to be very comical. And that's what's going to happen on um, them trying to give Portia a so-called wedding. And a three-part wedding at that. I'm like, girl, don't get into the Nigerian culture because you don't know nothing about it. You don't know about why they probably actually do do three weddings. And from quiet as it's kept, and as loud as I'm going to speak it out until you hear me, they don't like you, Portia. Or some of them. I ain't going to generalize and say the whole Nigerian race or the whole African race. I'm not going to put it like that. But I'm going to say, uh, it's a good enough for them that don't like you. And I don't think you need to be trying to travel over there or any of those parts right now. Because you have definitely made a mockery of what you felt their religion and their culture and their traditions are about. When technically anybody with a stoop sense, I would have gotten... Um, got me some resources i would have went to the library i would have googled i would have tried to understand their culture the nigerian culture race their traditions their likes their dislikes their tribal leaders you know just anything with some similarization to or some similarity of what simon called himself being born into i think it was benin he was um born and raised in that county or country and you knew nothing about that and I wouldn't have took his word I just would have did my own research and then just clarified certain things with him because he seemed like he was not even well knowledge in his own culture either because he considers himself more of a western type African I guess he's more culturized in the American way of doing a western world of seeing viewpointing perspectives and living his life that way other than traditionally unless it's coming into a form of cheating wanting to have more wives girlfriends concubines stuff like that he can relate to as a man uh and a dishonorable man to me when you got it like that unless like i said you were very rich and staunched into that culture and you truly truly believe the comings and goings and that's what you really felt you wanted and needed for uh your livelihood and for your family this is what you want this is the type of woman you're gonna need to be surrounded about by you that they're not gonna be the only wife you're gonna want five six seven eight nine ten and you want to have as many kids with them as possible and everybody just told a line of how they stack up with different uh compartments of his life of which wife is gonna feel which you know which role uh in which compartment now if you was on board and it was said to you and, and and presented to you that way then that's another whole conversation i can't fault simon for that because he told you this is it and that's what it's gonna be and you either say yay or nay okay you have a choice in the matter i would have said walked away i would have ran i would put in my track shoes and got the hell on okay he would have saw my behind my behind flying right past him like soup shoop zoom 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 you know what i'm saying how the airplane get up in there and get that altitude going that's how you would have saw me i would have been like a ghost blink of an eye once was there now i'm not <laughs> but that's just me okay but my whole thing for this particular video is portia who are these men in your life now of course you know we know dennis 
And we know Canterbury's was trying to tell you about Dennis, it's this, that, and the third. The streets were talking. You know, if you think you can change his philandering, womanizing ways, womanizing ways, then go ahead. You do you, boo. But I'm just trying to let you know, you know, who you finna get ready to mess with. And you do know that sometimes certain women can change certain men because they want to be changed. Not that they came in and forcefully made them change their evil, dogful ways. But because they saw something in that woman and they really felt that that woman could make them a better person. And they wanted to change. Not saying Dennis can't do that. But I'm just saying it's not in the cards right now. He's loving his bachelor life. He's glad he got it back. He's going to do and make it do what it do on this reality show. Because he can always go back to what he's definitely known and he's known for. And that's creating his own uh, businesses. Being his own boss. So he, he, he losing nothing. Anything he gaining. But Porsche going around here and dropping jobs like it's easy to get them. That's another whole the situation of the matter of a fact. But uh, then, again, we have to say who she was raised by and who her mama was raised by. And it just goes to curse, to curse, to curse. And somebody got to break that circle of curseness so somebody can prevail if it don't land but on PJ starting anew. Uh, and all the generational, generational curses are broken of how women in that family see themselves and what they feel they have to do to acquire such wealth. Instead of having that wealth built inside themselves and they like who they are and they like what they've accomplished and they don't need a man on their hand to say he got it for me. You see what I'm saying? Compliment him. Be on the um, side of him. Don't be in the back. Don't be in the front. Be on the side. But, you know, as we know, this little Rolls Royce she got, they say it came from that man right there. And I'm still trying to figure out, I know he's an African prince or something, but who is he? But he was allegedly, back in the times when Kenya was calling herself dating an African, and Portia was trying to call herself dating an African, and I think Nene was on the spot trying to date an African. Everybody was dating Africans back then on the Real Housewives of Atlanta for some reason. I don't know, it's just like, this is the... This is what's in now, okay? Um, not the black uh, men, uh, but the African black men, okay? That's, I'm just saying, that's, that's what was going on out there. But like I said, Candy tried to tell about Mr. Dennis and Dennis Ways, and she like, uh-uh, he got money. I'm going to spread my legs. Every time he told me something about wealth, I spread them a little wider until he impregnated me. And that's how Miss PJ came into fruition, all right? Shame, but that's what it is. Okay, now Portia's uh, flying high and mighty, thinking she's going to marry into some type of royalty. Okay, but what Tisa tells another YouTube blogger, what Sunday Omni um, says is another YouTube blogger. They say, uh uh, he ain't worth the, the bill, his money is printed on, and the smile is veneers all the way, meaning they're fake. We ain't seen his real teeth, so we can't trust anything that come out of his mouth. And of course, as you can see, Diane wants to be young again. She don't want to, uh, she's been drinking from the fountain of youth for what she think is youth, and she don't want to get old. All right, sad to say, but you will and you are. Okay, it definitely is showing in your photographs, baby. But Portia, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Um, she really needs to separate herself. She needs to stop depending on a man to do things for her. Because technically she has done well, I feel, by being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Trying to solidify herself there to build on it. But for some reason she wants what somebody else has. And that's what it's just basically showing up to be. You know, and Fallon's like, baby, I've been now. I'm younger than you, and I'm telling you, this is bullshit. He's bullshit. Don't do it, you know. And then they were supposed to be calling themselves friends on the show. Portia was trying to introduce her as her friend, bring her on, being a, a, a leg up for her, someone she could confide in, talk to about the show, and, and, and rehearse scenes together whatnot. Because we already know this ain't no uh, real reality show. It's scripted. But uh, one blessed thing did come out of it. You know, Dennis got his child. He always wanted. Didn't think he would get it that soon, but he got it. He probably wanted a boy, but hey, it just is what it is. Maybe PJ will be a little tomboy for him here and there. But again, the man to the right, who is that on that picture? So I'm just giving y'all a little formulation of past men in Portia's life that... And most of them are NFL players. I do recognize them, but I didn't know they were with Portia at some point in time. So I'm like, Portia, will you be in a groupie out there? Will you hang around the sidelines in the NFL, the, what do you call it, 
we call the people that play baseball, the NBL, National Baseball League, yo. Were you one of them groupies that was going around looking for high profile men uh, in the industry, in the entertainment industry, and in that? Uh, girl, what were you doing? Okay, now you with this bomb. And I call him a bone because I just don't like him, period. I don't. And maybe I'm just judging him on the public of opinion. But just seeing him talk, seeing how he he act on the show, his mannerisms, he just, I don't give a fuck attitude. But he's supposed to be this businessman and an astute African or a Lemurian businessman. They don't go around here doing all that kind of stuff. Kind of like the white man. Keep that shit on the cover. And if they do, it's done in the dark. And hopefully it won't ever come to light. But you know, they're going to have lawyers to defend, defend, defend. They're going to be up here and trying to be on social media. Typing shit that don't, um, that's not even worthy of being read. You see what I'm saying? But anyway. I'm just, uh, you know. I'm like, you're too beautiful. You're too... I mean, when beauty fades. When you don't have those looks anymore. You don't have that body anymore. What are you going to have under your belt, Portia? Don't be like Marilyn Monroe. Try to have it all, then commit suicide. You know what I'm saying? Because you already said you had suicidal tendencies in your book. And like I said, I bought the $13 hard copy, which it was $30-something uh, not even a month ago, and it dropped so drastically. Whoo, child. If I would have had the opportunity to go to the store and not being having to have to be at home um, because I'm not feeling well under the weather, girl, I could have got that book for $15. Okay, because it was $13. Now, how can a book slide down the bestsellers list that fast? Only because it wasn't really on the bestsellers list. It's probably the most popular book sales that made you go up there because of who you are. And people just wanted to get a glance and whatever. But I pity those people because they pay too much money. But what I hear is a train wreck. It's a spectacle. It's not even worth the money that it's printed on okay you wasted a lot of ink it's what i'm hearing but like i said i talk about you so much sometimes i talk about you in a good way sometimes i talk to you talk to you talk about you in a bad way sometimes i talk about you in a loving way okay but we can't spread a rod when you when you're infringing and you're doing shitty stuff we got to somebody gotta tell you something whether you listen to me or any other youtube bloggers or because you, you definitely don't need to listen to your mom your mom was all about selling you as the highest price hole out there to keep her in the livelihood of comfort, okay? Because we know she can't, uh, you can't buy that much for her, but, and take care of yourself and your daughter's future and all that kind of stuff. But you make sure she has, and that's the best you can do, that your children can do for you. But not when you're doing, you know, unsolicited stuff, you know? It, it, this is crazy, Porsche. This is crazy, and just your mama's just doing too much too i mean i'm like uh i mean could we fix those uh, um i ain't even gonna say it i don't see it i ain't gonna say it because you know it ain't about her it ain't about her she raised the train mess you're on a generational curse thing hopefully with a lot of prayers supplication discernment you can break it Portia. you can break it i believe in you your sister lauren believes in you but she just don't understand you because you don't make sense you don't it's not logicalness to you like who is that man is he another nfl player all these strange men who is that man is he another nfl player or some pro athlete what what, what we got going on Portia? okay who is he he played for the buffalo bills so, I mean, you couldn't stop with Cordell. You still had to run around, lay around, peep around. The, the football league girl. And who is this man? He's nice looking. Older. Got age on him. And who is this man, Portia? That's what I'm saying. You got too many unexpected men around PJ. And now you got the lowest of the low. You got a Nigerian man who nobody likes. He has no type of likability to him. And uh, he's holding you down because you don't start a fight that hopefully we'll see tomorrow on uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Portia's Family Matters. Hopefully it's the very last episode and we don't have any more coming from you. Okay. If you want ratchetness, okay, fine. Go back to if they will have you. Go back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 15 and then let some of this stuff unfold. And then some of the women get in your ass, especially um, Kenya. Okay, I'm ready for her to get on you. And a little bit of Marlo. And see how you fare well. Since you like this ratchetness and your fanatics, your fans love it for you too. Instead of telling you, chastising you to do better. Get on a better platform. Do something other than this mess.
uh, running up rich eligible and not so eligible men okay that you feel that needs to take care of you like girl we already know you're a loving mother we ain't gonna take that from you but since you don't got hooked up with simon where is her mama her real mama okay she seems like she is liking you the pictures are very adorable i can see some love there but portia don't have a man out here then you babysit all his kids while he's out there philandering and hanging out and doing smoking cigars, making his own self sick, having an early death. You know what I'm saying? And he definitely don't need to be smoking around them kids, okay? That's all I'm saying, Portia. Do better by yourself so you can do better for your family, girl. And don't let no man, especially no older man, come in and try to tell you what to do because your mama felt it was good for a man to tell her what to do. Okay? And that's probably why your dad tipped out and went on with Lauren Mama and stayed there till the day he died. Okay? That should tell you something. Mama might be teaching you wrong. And just because she your mama don't make sure that she's always right especially in that men department okay because you've been bad zero ever since cordell and probably been zero with some formal um high school mates tutors you were messing with and then you try to call yourself messing with r kelly and you saying r kelly had kind of took advantage of you maybe you took advantage of r kelly could that be it you took advantage of his notoriety, who he was, and you wanted a piece of him so that he could put you on in the music business. Okay? And you were told this is the game you had to play. You had to give up a little or give up a lot to get a little of that entertainment segment. You wanted to become a singer, a front row singer, the lead singer. And I'm like, girl... What were your aspirations at 25? Going to Hollywood, making a fool out yourself, they use you up, you come back half dead, and then try to reevaluate your your uh, your options? No, ma'am. No, sir. No, Lord. No, God. Get it together, Portia. Get it together so we can report, report something better than what we've been reporting on you thus far. Okay? Get it together. Stop marrying for wealth. Marry because you're in love. Okay? The money will come if you're both hustlers. You see what I'm saying? And you're ethical in what you're doing. But don't look for nothing good to come out of this situation. It was it was done in dirt and it's going to be in dirt. Okay? And that's how I see it. But that's all I got, y'all. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel and share my videos. Okay? And I always get down in those comments. And let me know how y'all feel about the video and what was presented. Okay? Not necessarily how it was presented. Because you know how I get down over here. If you don't know me by now, damn, you should know me. Okay? I shoot, I'm a straight shooter. I say what I got to say. And I'm done with it. Okay? But that's about it. I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.